Good morning. The first day of the CES, and I'm standing here with Michael Paulin. He's the Director of Product Management for Lidar Tech, a very, very interesting company. Michael, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Michael, tell us a little bit about Lidar Tech. Yeah, so Lidar Tech, uh, we're a spin-off from a research center in Quebec City, Canada. We've been uh, working on our technology for over a decade now. And uh, so uh, we own a, uh, a proprietary technology for detection and ranging using optical time of flight. So uh, our uh, technology is mainly implemented through uh, algorithms that provide increased uh, range, uh, sensitivity, uh, you know, uh, great operation in environmental conditions. And and this allows us to build very affordable, uh, high, highly performant uh, sensors for uh, many applications, including automotive and drones. Perfect. Um, Michael, this week has been exciting. So there's been a lot of announcements around um, LiDARs, um, LiDAR sensors, adoption by Ford and the others. So where do you think LiDAR as a technology plays against LiDAR and the other existing sensors like camera? Correct. So today, uh, LiDAR is really a, a great technology that we can use to uh, implement sensors at a very affordable uh, cost uh, for OEM manufacturers. And uh, actually, the performance is, is, is very good. So it's, it's, uh, it's a technology today that's readily available that uh, OEM manufacturers can actually integrate into their vehicles. Uh, we have uh, customer value that's already developing a solution with uh, our technology that will be available shortly. And uh, actually, so the, 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 the technology enables development of ADAS solutions even in the compact car market, so not only high-level uh, vehicles. So the, the price really and the performance is, uh, is a great, say, a ratio that... that uh, so it's essentially the cost to performance ratio exactly. that, that makes this a crucial piece of technology. That's right. That's Perfect. Right. And you mentioned value. Like, can you little, elaborate a little bit on what you're doing? Right. There? So actually, uh, in 2014, we signed an agreement with Valio. Mm -hmm. they are, they're developing uh, uh, ASIC based on our technology and they're developing ADAS uh, sensor solutions based on that. So uh, they, uh, they actually are uh, progressing very well on that side and uh, they're, uh, they're already discussing with many uh, uh, automotive uh, manufacturers to present uh, their solutions. So uh, that's a great testimony of uh, you know, the, the, the performance of our technology. And what about applications, um, Michael? Is it more the conventional ADAS market? Because right now, as I'm standing in the show, a real hot uh, trend is everybody's demonstrating um, automated driving, autonomous right. driving, however you call it, even Kia and Wheel there. So what about uh, LiDAR as a technology as can it support higher levels of autonomy as well? Right. So autonomy actually is something that's coming in, in quite a few years uh, still. Uh, where uh, one thing that's interesting and, and sets us apart, I believe, is that we have a, a technology that can be used for today's ADAS uh, mm -hmm. applications, which are not yet autonomous driving. But we also, in our roadmap, certainly have solutions that will be enabling autonomous uh, driving as those applications are being deployed in the market. So we're talking, obviously, of higher resolution, uh, you know, a very very long range, uh, uh, high precision, and all of those where we will be having in our roadmap as we uh, as we move down the line here. Yeah. Perfect. And one one f uh, final thought was there's there's a lot of uh, let's say talk around in the show about artificial intelligence and deep learning, f especially for autonomous driving when right. you're ta driving in challenging urban conditions. So what's your take on that as as a as a tool? Right. So certainly one thing I think that's. Uh, uh, you know, uh, well, uh, well uh, accepted by everyone is that uh, the future for autonomous vehicles will be having many sensors, multiple uh, solutions out there, and so LiDAR will certainly be one of those. It's a, it's a, it's a very uh, effective um, uh, solution that provides uh, robust uh, distance measurements and can be easily uh, used in fusion with uh, camera solutions or, or an uh, integration of many other sensors in the vehicle. So from that perspective, uh, we think it's, uh, so it'll be a vital component in the uh, intelligent cars of tomorrow. Yeah. Perfect. Last note, so what's the next two, three years for the company? So the next two, three years, I think there's going to be some uh, very exciting uh, news where uh, LiDAR Tech will be uh, announcing uh, some deployment in uh, several, uh, several exciting uh, uh, industries such as the drone market and automotive as well. And uh, we certainly see Valio having a lot of success with our technology as well. And so, uh, yeah, we're exciting very excited. Exciting times. Yeah. All the best. And thank All you right. so much, Michael. Thank you very much.